Hello, and welcome to the Daily Orthodox Christian Scripture Reading for Tuesday, February 14th, 2023. Today's epistle reading is from St. John's First Universal Letter, chapter 3, verses 9 through 22. Brethren, no one born of God commits sin, for God's nature abides in him, and he cannot sin because he is born of God. By this it may be seen that who are the children of God and who are the children of the devil. Whoever does not do right is not of God, nor does he not love his brother. For this is the message which you have heard from the beginning, that we should love one another, and not be like Cain, who was of the evil one and murdered his brother. And why did he murder him? Because his own deeds were evil, and his brother's righteous. Do not wonder, brethren, that the world hates you. We know that we have passed out of death into life because we love the brethren. He who does not love abides in death. Anyone who hates his brother is a murderer, and you know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him. By this we know love, that he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. But if anyone has the world's goods and sees his brother in need, yet closes his heart against him, how does God's love abide in him? Little children, let us not love in word or speech, but in deed and in truth. By this we shall know that we are of the truth, and reassure our hearts before him whenever our hearts condemn us, for God is greater than our hearts, and he knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have confidence before God, and we receive from him whatever we ask. And today's gospel reading is from Mark chapter 14, verses 10 through 42. At that time, Judas Iscariot, who was one of the twelve, went to the chief priests in order to betray Jesus to them. And when they heard it, they were glad and promised to give him money. And he sought an opportunity to betray him. And on the first day of unleavened bread, when they sacrificed the Passover lamb, his disciples said to him, Where will you have us go and prepare for you to eat the Passover? And he sent two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the city, and a man carrying a jar of water will meet you. Follow him, and wherever he enters, say to the householder, The teacher says, Where is the guest room where I am to eat the Passover with my disciples? And he will show you a large upper room, furnished and ready. There, prepare for us. And the disciples sent out and went into the city and found it as he had told them. And they prepared the Passover. And when it was evening, he came with the twelve. And as they were eating at the table, Jesus said, Truly I say to you, one of you will betray me, one who is eating with me. They began to be sorrowful and to say to him one after another, Is it I? He said to them, It is one of the twelve, one who is dipping bread into the dish with me. For the Son of Man goes as it is written of him, but woe to the man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would have been better for that man if he had not been born. And as they were eating, he took bread and blessed it and broke it and gave it to them and said, Take, this is my body. And he took the cup, and when they had given thanks, he gave it to them, and they all drank of it. And he said to them, This is the blood of my new covenant, which is poured out for many. Truly, I say to you, I shall not drink again of the fruit of the vine, until that day when I drink it new in the kingdom of heaven. And when they had sung a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. And Jesus said to them, You will fall away, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd and the sheep will be scattered. But after I am raised, I will go before you to Galilee. Peter said to him, Even though they all fall away, I will not. And Jesus said to him, Truly I say to you, This very night before the cock crows twice, you will deny me three times. But he said vehemently, If I must die with you, I will not deny you. And they all said the same thing. And they went to a place which was called Gethsemane. 
And he said to his disciples, Sit here while I pray. And he took with him Peter and James and John and began to be greatly distressed and troubled. And he said to them, My soul is very sorrowful, even to death. Remain here and watch. And going a little farther, he fell on the ground and prayed that, if it were possible, the hour might pass from him. And he said, Abba, Father, all things are possible to you. Remove this cup from me, yet not what I will, but what you will. And he came and found them sleeping. And he said to Peter, Simon, are you asleep? Could you not watch for one hour? Watch and pray that you may not enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. And again he went and prayed, saying the same words. And again he came and found them sleeping, for their eyes were very heavy, and they did not know what to answer him. And he came the third time and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? It is enough. The hour has come. The Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us be going. See, my betrayer is at hand. Thank you for listening. Please help those suffering as a result of the February 6th earthquake in Turkey and Syria by donating through your parish or by finding a charity through a site like charitynavigator.org. I'll see you tomorrow.